What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing an A24 film that has come out recently that I've been highly anticipating and that movie is Uncut Gems, directed by the Safdie brothers who directed Good Time with Robert Pattinson, also an A24 film. And this movie stars Adam Sandler, Adina Menzel, Kevin Garnett, and Lakeith Stanfield. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. This movie tells the story of a jeweler named Howard, played by Adam Sandler, who runs a jewelry store in New York, who is currently struggling paying certain debts because of his gambling addiction. Howard is making deals with many different people throughout this district, and he is making mistake and mistake. Till he comes across Kevin Garnett in the movie, where he has this rock that is worth millions of dollars, and something crazy happens with it, and so Howard is going through a huge ball game of trying to pay off his debts. I have been hearing people tell me left to right to watch Uncut Gems, and I was highly anticipating this movie because of Adam Sandler. Now, everybody hates on Adam Sandler because of his awful comedies he's been in, this decade, Jack and Jill, the Grown Ups movies, his Netflix comedies. You guys need to not focus on those. You need to watch some of his great dramas like Punch Drunk Love, which is his best performance. The guy's a great actor when he is in the right film and given the right script. And when I saw the trailer for Uncut Gems, I just knew Adam Sandler was going to knock it out of the park. The Safdie brothers also directed Good Time with Robert Pattinson, and I thought Robert Pattinson, that was one of his best performances, his comeback role. And the Safdie brothers have their own way of filming movies, and Uncut Gems was no different. Uncut Gems is a film you cannot miss. This movie had everything Good Time had. It was absolutely suspenseful from start to finish. For an over two hour long movie, it never bored me once. I was highly engaged with the story, the characters, and the messages the movie was trying to present. I am not the only one that has been saying this. Adam Sandler, if he gets snubbed for an Oscar nomination, it'll be the biggest snub of the year. Well, Robert De Niro's been getting snubbed as well, but... Adam Sandler gives one of the best performances of the year. He takes this character to his own and he portrays this character. You don't see Adam Sandler. You see the character that he is playing Howard. I love the emotion, the anger he brought to this character. He's not this selfish asshole. You understand him. You understand why he is the way he is. He has trouble with his family. He's having certain troubles with paying off debts and trying to pay people back money. Adina Menzel is also terrific. She's not in the movie a lot, but there is that intensity towards her and Adam Sandler's marriage, supposedly. Kevin Garnett is really good in this movie as well. You may know him from the Boston Celtics. He was really surprisingly good, and Lakeith Stanfield is normally good in whatever movies he's popped up in. I gotta talk about the score as well. It is really haunting, mysterious, and loud. That's what this film really is. It's a loud movie with characters talking and just yelling at each other back and forth. The dialogue sequences bring the intensity in on the edge of your seatness up to 100%. Like all of these characters are just yelling at each other and having really intense sequences that are interesting. And I was interested in those scenes because our characters are acting like it's real life stuff. You're honestly rooting for Howard to not make these certain mistakes because it has consequences. And there's one intense sequence where he messes up really bad and he's got to pay the consequences for it. And it's one of the best executed scenes of 2019. The Safdie brothers are some of the most underrated directors working today. I absolutely love their direction with this film. This is one of the best directed films of the year. They bring this nice crime world. Definitely feels like a Scorsese film, but the Safdie brothers added their own lens to it. 
and just made the film so much more complex. I really had no issues with this movie. I was highly invested from start to finish. There are some slow paced moments. You do feel the runtime, but that's honestly not a mistake. And I can see people having an issue with the pacing. Uncut Gems is fantastic. I was so happy I saw this movie. Adam Sandler, please, please, let's chant Adam Sandler to get an Oscar nomination because he absolutely deserves it. He transforms into this character. The Safdie brothers created an intense film that really makes you locked into the story and wondering what's gonna happen next. On my rating scale, Uncut Gems gets a five out of five stars. Okay guys, that was my thoughts on Uncut Gems. Have you guys seen Uncut Gems and what were your thoughts on it? Did you love it? Think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!